Hey you guys, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Owl Crate for September. Um, I don't remember ordering this. I think this is the second time this has happened. I didn't order it. Um, it automatically renews, and I forgot to cancel it. This was sitting on the dining room table when I walked in from school, and I realized, oh crap, I just <laughs> got another one. <laughs> you know, so this is my fourth hour Owl Crate. Um... So, let's see what's inside. I don't even know the theme, but we're gonna figure it out. Here we go. So the first thing that we get is the spoiler warning page, and this is the cover of it, and I think it's really awesome, the constellations. I'm a sucker for, like, stars and stuff. Sort of. I mean, I have stars in my room. Kind of around. <laughs> but, um, so this has all the stuff that's gonna be inside the box. I don't really want to look at it until the end and get a better understanding of what's in here. Oh, but the theme is mythical creatures. So, there's that. <laughs> so the next item is a super cute dragon themed coin purse. Um, the dragon is like this little red guy. And it's super cute. I'll probably keep, um, bobby pins and hair ties in it and just stick it in my backpack. I don't really carry around change outside of my wallet. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. So here we have the Son of Poseidon bath salts. So, Son of Poseidon, like, Percy Jackson. Ooh, and it smells really good. Um, it smells soapy, but, like, I don't really know what else to describe it as. <laughs> um, I've never used baths. Are you kidding me? I just spilled some. Okay, well... Shoot! I have to vacuum now because if my dog or cats eat it, they're gonna be tripping out. Could you imagine a dog or cat on bath salts? <laughs> okay, well I've never used bath salts before and <laughs> I've only used bath bombs so I hope I don't mistake this as tea one day because there's little tea leaves in here and I'm just like, <laughs> let's just, you know, add some bath salts to my tea. Awesome. Up next is a really freaking cool looking bookmark. It says, I am the blood of the dragon. And it's like on this thin piece of wood. Like, I remember using this sort of wood in like tech class to build simple things. But I really love that. I'm going to add that right into my, like... <laughs> bookmark jar that oh that's full of actually bookmarks and some coils then we get our owl crate pin that comes with every box whoa mine are current all mine are currently on my backpack and this will soon be added to the collection hopefully it doesn't fall off like some of my beetles ones that i have oh my gosh i'm in love <laughs> oh okay this is a Hagrid and Buckbeak <laughs> sticker. I freaking love it. The art is great. Like, I'm... Man, this is, like, stuff I want to do. I want to, like, make stickers and buttons and bookmarks and stuff. Um, this is obviously from Harry Potter, if you don't know. Um, I'm not... I never usually... I never use, like, stickers and stuff because I'm afraid I'm going to put it on a surface and want to take it off and, like, put it on something else. And I'm afraid I'll regret using it. So, this will probably just never be used. But it'll be, like hung with like tape on the back that way I can always move it just so you guys know I'm not really going in order um I'm just kind of grabbing stuff from smallest to biggest well trying okay so um I did hear rumors about this special item and I'm really glad that I got this box because now I have a book sleeve if you don't know what a book sleeve is you basically take a book you put it in here and it protects your book while you're traveling that way your book doesn't get damaged or injured because our books are our friends and we do not eat. <laughs> I started to quote Nemo. For sure, friends, not food. I was going to say books are friends, not food, but... Hmm. <laughs> so I'm really... Okay, I love this too. I love everything about Owl Crate. Just so aesthetically pleasing. I hate myself. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just unwrapped all of the... Uh, stuff for the book. Um, what you usually get with your book is a signature from the author. There we go. And her name is Jody Meadows. I'm not really good at reading cursive, but so Jody Meadows. And the book came with this little dragon, um, like a guide to all the dragons that are going to be in the book. So it's a dragon book. 
which is pretty rockin'. I haven't looked at the cover of the book yet. I just kind of, like, was trying to avoid it at all costs. Um, that's really cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I've, I've not read many dragon books. In fact, I don't really think I've read any dragon books since fourth grade. But, um, I'm excited. I do own one that I want to read eventually. I just whistled. <laughs> okay, then we get our letter from the author. And the cover is on the back of this. But, um, here's the book. It's called Before She Ignites by... Uh, I already said her name, Jody Meadows. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the cover, because I don't usually like having, um, like, super realistic photo people on the front. Like, I don't know, I usually like having drawings or simple designs, because it gives more room for the imagination, and... But, I do... This girl's very pretty. Oh, there's two moons in the back. hey -o. I know that's not really a big deal, but... It's about this girl named Mina Mincomber, Mincomba, um, and she's called like a hope bearer. So she's like very beautiful and everything. And there's seven islands called the Fa Fallen Isles, and like her beauty and stuff brings all of the islands together. But she's never felt beautiful or anything. Um, and like I, at first when I was reading this, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be kind of some sort of cliche. But then it says. Mira never felt perfect. She counts compulsively. She struggles with crippling anxiety, and she's far too interested in dragons for a girl of her station. So, like, she learns some secret, and she gets sent to a prison of some sort, and there she meets a guard who wants to know her secret. I'm guessing it's going to be a secret about a dragon, you know, since we've gotten a lot of dragon items in this box. So... Um, not a fan of the cover, but the plot sounds pretty good. So, Owlcrate must be doing something new because we get a newsletter now. And then here's the, uh, theme for next month. Um, this was underneath the book at the bottom. Usually, I, I mean, I haven't gotten one before. So, this shows the difference between the Owlcrate cover and the regular cover. The Owlcrate's, like, all in gold and the regular is kind of just, like, the silver, silvery one. So, that's pretty awesome. I like getting, so it gives like, there's like a crossword in here, sorry, I know the glare is pretty bad, there's a crossword in here, some stuff about Owl Cray in the next month, oh, so next month is going to be, for October, Find Me in the Forest, um, in the October box, you'll receive an exclusive candle from In the Wick of Time, so, I'm excited for next month, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, I've gotten so many in a row, um, yeah. Okay, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please comment your favorite item from the box and um, maybe share this video if you want to show your friends that I don't have. Okay, bye!